Hello, hello! This is Panda, and in my last video I showed a fix for the lag and the random update order of Redstone Wire. In the video I mainly focused on the logic applied to Redstone and did not talk about implementation details and potential issues. The post on the bug tracker was a lot more self-critical in that regard, but it obviously is not what the majority sees. It is important to me to clarify that the fix is nothing that could just be added to the game and also was not intended to be. So I think we should give it, better late than never, the critical view it deserves. For a start. Not all cases are solved to an acceptable extent. Whenever a power source is connected to the same wire in two or more spots, the order of updates is a little off from what it should be. The reason for this behavior is that the initial update on the redstone is still triggered by a regular block update. And it's even worse when turning it off. Changing that is possible, but it proposes a whole new set of problems. But far more important is that the fix I provided is just a hack onto the original code. It is not a proper solution from the view of a software developer. For a software developer, it's not only important that a program does what he wants it to do, but also a whole bunch of other qualities, such as the ability to maintain and expand on the program. For example, if you have different features, you want to program the logic just once and nicely separate it. We could take repeaters, torches and redstone dust for instance. For each one, we have a separate file in which all logic for it is implemented. If we want to patch or change repeaters, we just need to change it in one spot and ideally there shouldn't be any other side effects. In the fix, this principle is violated. Here the redstone dust logic also contains parts of the repeater logic and the torch logic. So if we now want to apply our patch to repeaters again, we already need to remember to change it in two spots. That might not seem too bad, but when developing with this attitude, there are probably more than two spots and most of them you don't even know about. When presenting the logic redstone could follow with a mod, I don't have to worry about these things, but a fix for the official game would be a whole different topic. On top of all that, the update order I applied to redstone wire followed a Y first order. That is a fine and nice order, but changing it for redstone also implies changing it for other redstone components. And as soon as you would do that, all designs that relied on the update order would start breaking. Which leads me to the last point I want to make in this video. If we want to see true improvements in the game, we need to be more accepting towards losing some old quirks. It's impossible to fix all problems without also breaking some old behavior. Thanks for watching and see you next time.